Advanced Grade Dorado. Hey, what's up again, everybody? Robert184, 2 R's, 2 B's, Gundam Reviews, .net. And definitely, you didn't want to be the Vegans or the UE in the form of one of these grunt suits, whether it's the Gaffron or the Dorado in the anime of Gundam Age. But in terms of building up your army, let's take a look at this Advanced Grade kit, which is going to be selling for a reasonable price. That's the high grade version of the Dorado there and the AG version of the Gaffran. But let's check out how this second generation grunt is going to stack up, both, well, not in games at all, but in terms of plastic model ability. 2012 release, supermarket friendly 600 yen, and in the advanced grade line from Bandai with some pretty cool cover art, you can see the name and model number there in English and Japanese. It's number 16 in the 1144th scale. The Dorado, when it appeared in the second generation, was definitely an improvement, I thought, on the Gaffran, where despite the fact that it lost the transformation, certainly just picked up for her in terms of looks and coolness. It's got a much better movable tail, or at least a good movable tail, for the high-grade model and a very nice purple color scheme. This high-grade here is 1200 in, and you can check out its full review on GunnerReviews.net and my YouTube channel. But now let's take a look at what half price is going to get you in terms of the advanced grade. With a quick look around the box first, where you can see that he's got a green laser there, probably painted on with color wraps all over the place with a nice combination of purple and the dark gray. It's also got some black Adidas striping there on the back. Some information, though nothing on the pilot. To the other side, where yes, let's go play the game with second generation grunts. Again, I can't really imagine that. The block build system, though, is looking pretty good. As you can see that he's going to have some black inner frame there. Black, it looks like in the head with some purple parts around it. Purple shoulders, purple people eaters, and overall a nice combination of the two colors here. Inside the box we go. We're going to be treated to a couple colors in the form of purple and black, and that's pretty much it. It's only going to be in the one bag there. Remember all the details there from the instructions to the ordering missing parts and the plate layout. And go play this game in the supermarket is all inside the box. All of the plates are unique to the Dorado and you can see that the A1 and A2 were just separated at birth here. A little bit smaller though for the A1 where you're going to get the feet and the all important two sides to the head. So you're actually going to have the black part on the middle which we've gotten used to with the UE suits. And you're also going to have those all important forearm blasters there. To combine with the tail weapon there, you've got the commander's vif in there, whether they're commander or not, the shoulders, the back part, the front part there, which is going to reveal a laser in the chest to go along with the waist sections. Before the B-plate wraps things up here, you can see that this was just cut off, and I had to wonder if this was going to share some commonalities with the Gaffran, but instead it's just for the Dorado, so you can see the inner frame there. With the laser that's going to poke out of the chest, a little bit of waist parts will be exposed there. You've got the arms where you've got the hands just built right into it, so don't expect any funky, cool uh, zs type yellow fingers or anything like that. To go along with the very simple legs that are going to offer no mobility, but they do have the all-important Adidas striping if you want to go detail that up. And when he's all put together, he's going to do everything that you'd expect for this kind of price in terms of a grunt villain suit. The fact that he's actually got the two colors there is definitely going to make a, a big improvement over the Zetas and the Kronos, who at least had that green on the chest. But he's going to be right up there in terms of the Gaffron, in terms of model building grunt ability. I like the purple feet there, I like the skirts, I like the molding and the proportions. He's definitely not all that different from the high grade upon first impression, outside of the fact that he's not going to have any mobility or the green beep 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 eyes. Comparison time now, we're next to the Gaffran, which is definitely up there in Zaku seniority in terms of grunts for the UE. You can just see that they're pretty much going to have all the same colors in all the same places. Uh, definitely more waist armor over here for the Gaffran. This is just going to be the one piece there. Definitely looks better though. They both got the feet, they both got the colored shoulders, they both got the laser poking through the chest in the same color of the inner frame. And also the same hand color there, none of the fancy yellow hands that we got to see with some of the later ones. The plus is going to go to this guy just because he is going to have the forearm weapons and the fact that they're both going to have a tail which can plug into the back or into the hand as a weapon. 
And there was a while where a Dorado was a challenge for the age 2 normal or the double bullet variety. Here he is next to the first generation's goof in the form of the back toe, which is really just here because I forgot how great this mobile suit design is and how really it's right up there in terms of my absolute favorites for the Vegans. And having seen the first and second generations, well, why not compare it to the third generation, which never saw an advance grade to make some kids' cheap dragon dreams all come true in the form of the high-grade Danazine, which you can see here. And finally, next to the high grade, you can see that there's not too much to set these two apart from just straight looks. You can see some purple here on the inside of the ankles, but outside of that, well, of course, he's actually going to have separate parts there for the waist section. And you can also see a little bit of color if you wanted to try to make it out there in the middle of the chest. You can see that the weapons are going to cover up more of the manipulators there, but it's on the back where you can see the big difference, as this guy is just going to have a little bit thicker winglings there. And more importantly, a tail that's actually not just one solid piece of plastic, but actually has a fair bit of moving parts that can actually be used as an effective weapon, either over or under. But while the advanced grade would make a good high-grade doppelganger just in terms of pure looks alone, when it comes to posability, well, you can have the weapon shooting forward here with one arm, or shocker of shockers, with two arms... Or a combination of one arm and one hollow tail slash blaster. And really, that's all she wrote. For my final thoughts on the advanced grade, which you can see right now with the high grade behind it, well, you got to go back to really what these AGs are for. It's 600 yen, it's an impulse buy. I don't know any kids that are going to say, Mom, I need to buy this grunt suit to go play the game in places like Yorobashi Camera. But nonetheless, if you're just trying to use it to augment your army in terms of actually setting up an age battle, if you're going to buy it, you're going to get some nice purple plates there. It's just one big plate cut into half. And the gray inner frame, it's a big step up on the other ones like the Zetis and the Kronos, as I already said. Right up there with the Gafran, we didn't get the Bacto or the Danazine in AG. But when you go and you compare it to the actual named members of the good guys, and you look at all the age ones with their six different and their age, whether it's one, two, or three with their six different colors there, Really, outside of the Zedora, it's not gonna or it's gonna be as good as any of the Vegans, but definitely not as good as any of the good guys, because they're all just gonna have lots of colors, except for the ones that shouldn't, like Wolf. As an army builder, it's great for the extra weapons, it's gonna be more fun than the Gafran, which is missing out on the transformation. The Dorado is not. The forearm weapons look good, whether they've got the black parts in the back, you're not really gonna notice them there. It's not like they stand out that much on the high grade. It's really just the fact that you don't get that tail, that's the only thing that it's missing besides the mobility. So for 600 yen and for what it is, the fact that it's got two colors, that's two colors more, well at least one color more than we've seen on so many others, so I am going to recommend it for what it is. But outside of building an army, I can't really think of much more, unless you're looking for something to test paint in yellow. In terms of the future, well we haven't seen any master grade of the bad guys from any, anything in a lot of series for a long time, but more specifically Age. We heard we were getting a master grade Gafran, that quickly got cancelled, so you'd think that the odds of getting any more grunts You'd think perhaps a Legolas or something like that may be on the way towards the end, or perhaps we're going to have to wait 10 years, as it seems to be the case with Double O. But nonetheless, this is probably going to be the only choices, the AG and the HG. So whichever one of these you want to pick up, why don't you let me know what you think of this kit and the verdict and everything else, and stick around for lots more news, reviews, AG, HG, MG, and everything else. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya. More like Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. One of them also had a better moving tail.